we, we do something in Tucson, and I'm going to try it out here. Uh, we, call it, we call it the pep rally, and it's 10 minutes, a stack of five people with two minutes each, or if people go short, we can, uh, we can you know, have more people, talking about why they're here, why they're excited to be occupied, what has you fired up. So I'm going to open up the stack, and if people want to talk. I don't know if I have two minutes throw out here for you guys because I'm not one of many words. I've been involved in and out of Occupy since late October, early November. I was here on some pretty big things. I was here when we got raided. We lost a bunch of our stuff, watched our flag be thrown into the bed of a truck. I was part of a sit-in trying to keep the peace. Occupy to me has become a lot. In September, I tried to kill myself. It didn't go as fly kind, obviously. But I was in a bad place and without hope. And a nice. I've been a part of activism now for most of my adult life. And I saw all these people coming together to join in to make something greater. It gave me hope, it made me proud, especially with everybody from all different walks of life. It was what America's built on, a melting pot, if you will, of a tiny little space, our occupation. There's been a lot of hostility lately, indifference of opinion, and even as somebody who isn't as familiar with all of you as I am with some of you, I, I feel it and it's hard just to see it deteriorating because there's all of you put so much into it. And everybody's taking everything personally because of what everybody put, their heart, their soul, and their time, and their tears, and, and their freedom at times when we're locked up. We're all part of a greater movement. Occupy in itself is not one particular place. It started in Wall Street and it's gone all across the country. It's huge. And I understand that there's going to be separate groups. It's bound to happen. Different people have different opinions on different things. And that's okay because we're all supposed to. But we have one goal, one common goal, and that is to bring power back to the people, bring our, our disenfranchised nation back to where it was supposed to be. And it just, I hope that everybody can look around and see <coughs> the greater good that Occupy is creating and put their personal differences aside just to see each other, the passionate, loving, amazing people that everybody is here. I don't know if that was two minutes or not, but I love you all. <laughs> I have to get arrested tonight because this is way, way bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is way more important, and if I have this to contribute at this time, I have to do it. I, I had no idea how swept up I was going to be with this movement. And it's not just you guys, as much as I love you guys, it's the fact that we are part of a nationwide movement that is being recognized by people fighting for freedom all over the, all over the world. You know, people that are actually laying down their lives, fighting for their freedom in other countries, are are seeing themselves in solidarity with our movement. And I think that that's an amazing thing for us to be a part of. Even if sometimes we hit speed bumps, even if sometimes we disagree. I remember one of the first nights that we were here and we were all, you know, that side of the flower beds and hanging out on the sidewalk and grabbing food out of trucks really fast and letting them speed off in the darkness. And there was 
two guys standing on the other side of the road, and one of them was in full military fatigues with a big American flag. And he was standing there talking to that skinny hipster guy I never met with the upside down flag. And they were just standing there having a conversation for a long time. And I thought, I've never seen that together. And we're still that. We still are anarchists and libertarians and socialists and republicans and democrats, that dirty word. <laughs> We're all here, and we came from different places, and we contribute different things, but we're all still in this together. And we just have to remember, in like those first couple of days, that we can stand together on the side of the road and mean something, that we can get arrested together, even if it's not for exactly the same reasons or for the exact same causes. It's like she said, it's here to bring the power back to the people. And we can't represent the people if we're not all different. So. I still am really proud to be involved in this with all of you guys. Even when we disagree, especially when we disagree, because we come back together at the end. And I really hope that that's what we're doing here tonight. That we're coming back together and remembering that we're in this together. I don't know, I had a really great insight when I was in court on Friday that I wanted to share. Uh, so I went and I got to testify for what I was doing, that I was dramatizing injustice, that I was standing on behalf of the homeless, and the disempowered, and the franchise, and the activists, and I got convicted, which we all kind of expected. Uh, but when the prosecutor was reading the law, he fucked up on citing it, which was hilarious. And everybody out in the audience sparkled at it, because it showed that they don't even know the law they're trying to prosecute us with. It showed their ignorance and it showed how, how weak they are. Because you told us so, to stop doing it. And so then the judge, he was furious, but he didn't even know what he was furious at. So he says, you, that thing, stop it. It's not applause, just, just stop it. <laughs> so I'm here because the system doesn't know how to deal with us. And that's what gives us power. And together we have power. And so I'm never leaving. I love you all. <laughs> all right. Um, I know all of you. I love all of you in my own way. <laughs> Some of you, we've had issues. I think all of us have that same instance. Um, I will never be the same person since October 15th. And I believe that pretty much everybody here can share that, if nothing else. We have been forever changed. I don't believe that most of the people here, whether we walk separately today or not, will, be, will stop being activists. We will still see each other in a protest. We will still be brothers and sisters. And I mean, I would love to see this continue, not quite the way it is, but let it evolve. I think it's stagnant. Um, it's time to start changing some things and being a little bit more accept accepting of each other. And, of course, build some guidelines. Um, I don't care who you are in this group. You have taught me something. Every single one of you have taught me something. I'm walking away or continuing on with this movement a better person because of all of you. And I want to make that very clear. That's all I can say. Daddy, you want to try, but if you don't want to go, I will. No, I'll go. Yes, I don't have to talk. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been here since October 14th. I have spent a lot of time and energy trying to help. I've encountered a lot of possibility from people that never spoken to me and I don't even know what their names are. But um, I'm still here. And the reason I am still here is because there is shit that needs to be done. Uh -huh. This summer is a big deal. This year is a big deal. If we don't fix things now, things are going to get very, very much worse. Shit. And all of the time spent here playing games, 
arguing with each other, having little power struggles is a waste. It is a total waste of energy. And I am tired of it. I get tired of it, I go away, I come back, I go away. But I have consistently supported it. I have supported the house. I have tried to do everything that I can do to help. But you guys have to allow other people to be part of Occupy. You can't have this ideological purity that everybody has to believe the same political philosophy to participate. Occupy is supposed to be about the 99%. I, like that. I am unemployed. I am in foreclosure. I am the 99%. I used to work for Bank of America. I quit my job because I didn't want to work there anymore because I couldn't stand what they were doing to people. I couldn't look at myself in the mirror. And I can't find another job in the financial services industry because it's collapsing. I say fine, I don't want it anyway. But we have to be united in the one thing, the one thing that this movement was created for, the one thing that we could agree on with everybody, including the fucking Tea Party. We need to get money out of politics. We need to return control of our government to the people. And anybody who's not working on that is missing the boat. Because if, if we don't get that back, none of these other good things that you want to have happen are going to happen. They're just not. So I think we should concentrate on what we came here to do. You know, I'm happy about Thursday. I think Thursday is a great day, a great thing. This is what we have been trying to talk about all the time, and we keep getting sidetracked. So I'm gonna be there on Thursday. I'm happy to talk, you know, I'll tell my experience, you know, but we have to reach out to other people, we have to reach out to other groups, and we have to stop pushing people away. And that's what I have to say. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Patty.